Hi, welcome to Daddy Curb's farm. I'm up in the orchard. It's just me and my cell phone. So I thought I would uh, give you a little update about the graphs. Now, those of you who watch my grafting video probably already are thinking, but I didn't know you did grafts in your own orchard because you did them at a friend's house. Well, that's true. I did do my first grafts at a friend's house, but her tree had produced so much cyan wood that I decided to bring some home and try it in my own orchard. So I'm going to show you six graphs on nectarine trees. This is peach cuttings on nectarine trees and three graphs of the peach cuttings on a peach tree. Up here at the front of the orchard I have two nectarine trees. Now these trees are fairly mature now. They've, they've produced a pretty decent harvest and they're growing nicely. So I decided to go ahead and try to put some peach cuttings on these nectarine trees. On this first tree I have three grafts. One here. And there's not a lot to show on that one. It still looks brown. That one possibly has not taken. Then there's one just above it up here. Again, same story. Still brown. Not much going on. Right around here at the top of this branch is another one. And there's a little bit of life showing at the end of these buds. This one might be waking up. I think this one might be a success. But let's go look at tree number two here. This one's a little more exciting. You can see probably already that there is definitely some green coming out on that graft. Right up here is another graft. There's a little bit of green coming out of the end of that one, but mostly this one's still brown. So right over here on the other side of this tree is another one. And you can see the leaves coming out on this one too. So this nectarine tree, two or three of the three grafts on this tree uh, appear to be doing well. One of the three over here looks like it might work. But I got one more tree. It's not actually in the orchard. It's kind of way over there. I'll take you to it. And that is a peach tree. This peach tree is actually the first fruit tree I ever planted on the farm. I don't think I planted it very well. I didn't plant it in the right spot. And it hasn't done real well over the last four years, but it is still growing. I pruned it out pretty heavily this year. A lot of the top growth I took out and I cut one stump off there. And you can see from here that there are some grafts on there, two of them. Now this is the bark graft, the same graft that you saw in that other video where I did my first grafts. And those two are definitely looking good. So you can see where I had put them right under the bark. Wrapped it up with the bicycle inner tube and then painted the ends with the pruning uh, paint. So then there's one more over here. Another bark graft. This one is not really showing any signs. So, well, look. That little bud right there, you can't hardly see it. That one right there might be doing okay. So out of, out of three on this tree, uh, it looks like two at least are going to do well. The tree itself, uh, I've considered over the last few years just taking it out. But I thought, why not just give it another shot at life, graft onto it, see what happens. It's a fun experiment. Out of nine grafts, there's six up in the Daddy Curbs Orchard, way up there, and three here. It looks like I might get five or six that actually take, and I'll have that that variety of peaches. I think she called it a Texas Sun Peach. I can't remember exactly what the name was. She said it's a really sweet peach with a freestone, meaning that the, um, the meat of the peach pulls away from the pit very easily. And I thought that sounded like a good variety to try. And for those of you who like the beekeeping videos, I'd like to give you uh, some good news. We are still beekeeping. We're going to start the, the series back up here pretty soon. Over the winter, there wasn't a whole lot going on. Um, some of what I did last season didn't work out too well, but we had one hive. You can see the tall hive back here uh, that did survive the winter, survived all of my mistakes, and uh, it's actually producing really well. We're going to try to split that one coming up real soon, and hopefully we can get all of that on video. I also have five nukes on order. That means there's going to be five new hives. Uh, six counting this split if it works 
a total of seven hives coming up real soon on the Daddy Curbs farm. The Golden Sun Beekeeper and I are scrambling just a bit to make sure that we have everything we need to make that happen. But I wanted to give you this quick update to let you know that we are still beekeeping. It's still a serious thing on the farm and uh, we're going to give it another go. We're actually going to ramp it up this year. Thank you so much for joining me here on the Daddy Curbs farm. If this is your first time here or you haven't done it yet, go ahead and subscribe like the video, and leave comments below. The engagement helps encourage me to keep going. So go ahead and leave those comments, and I'll talk to you soon.